Hello, welcome back. This is Chris Huang. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between single lens reflex and the rangefinder cameras. Um, these two types of cameras has been in the photography for ages, and um, they are good and bad on each different kind of system. Uh, some people love the single lens reflex, some, somebody like the rangefinder. Um, for the street photography, both are definitely widely used. There's no right or wrong, or you should do this or you should not do that. Um, the difference is that this, so far uh, in my hand here, it's a single lens reflex film camera. Um, basically, you attach the lens to the front and um, you see through the viewfinder here. and. Uh, as you can see, because the lens, the light comes through the lens and then basically goes uh, reflect the light from the mirror to the viewfinder in the back. So whatever lens you mount it, it's actually the brightness of your um, viewfinder. So that means uh, you're seeing through the lens, you'll be most accurate for com uh, composing a shot. Um, but the downside is if your lens is, um, this particular lens is a f1.4, it's a pretty large aperture. But you have a smaller aperture lens, you're going to find yourself having a problem to focus because it's too dark. Um, however, the wrench finder, as you can see, I did not attach a lens here, just to show you a difference right here. Um, the the viewfinder is actually this two thing here. Um, this one is the main viewfinder that you're looking through. This one is actually allow you to focus. So uh, even without the lens attached, uh, you can actually, I don't know if I can macro focus on this thing well enough to show you the difference. Um, you can actually see there's an image inside of the viewfinder which is the lens right in front of it right now. Um, so that means uh, when the user using the rangefinder cameras, the viewfinder is not necessary to um, have the same exact uh, connection to the lens. So um, the only difference is that the rangefinder cameras, they use a little bit of uh, the manual mechanism uh, especially this camera here, there's a little knob here. Uh, it goes back and forth. Um, so what it really does is if you attach the particular lens um, that uh, such as Leica or something like a Canon lens, um, it, this is called a screw mount, a Leica 39 screw mount. Um, it, it could be labeled under M39 or L39. But um, this type of lens that if you mount it and um, the lens had a little thing that comes right out and just touch that piece of little knob I showed you earlier, um, that will trigger the viewfinder to know exactly which focal length you are on. And because of that, um, this particular piece of the viewfinder will create a second image over the preliminary viewfinder image and become a patch uh, right on top of it and then you try to match two little tiny overlay image together. Um, that's how you focus. It's totally different than the single lens reflex camera. Um, because it's not exactly what you see is what you get. However, the benefit of the viewfinder camera is that just like I show you, without lens attached, you're able to see through it. So that means through this viewfinder, the image is always going to be cleared. Um, there's almost no blurry effect, bouquet, or anything that you want to preview, you can't. Uh, you cannot preview aperture settings for um, depth of field because obviously you're not seeing through the lens. So that's the major difference. Okay, now we're looking at a rangefinder camera. So the rangefinder camera is always going to be sharp when you look through the viewfinder. Uh, there's no focus issue. Um, the 
the advantage of it is that you can actually uh, see just like your eyes will see into the world, everything sharp. Uh, however, um, the focus point is actually a dead center and you only have one focus point. Unlike the uh, single lens reflex cameras, they allow you to have multiple focus points. But at this point, there's no way to do it. Uh, the superimposed image was actually in dead center. So you have to focus in the center, then you can recompose again if you wanted to. Um, so the good thing about this entire thing with Sharp is because you don't have to touch any lens. You can actually observe it through your viewfinder uh, to study the scene if you wanted to and just to get uh, much more uh, composition going on instead of looking through the viewfinder just like you're looking through the telescope you won't be able to see anything else um, also the rangefinder you if you see there's a yellow line uh, around the corner that's actually the frame line um, so normally the rangefinder viewfinder will be much wider than uh, the lens you can uh, mount it onto the camera for example, if that frame line is actually a 28 millimeter, then uh, the viewfinder magnification must be much wider uh, scope. And so you can actually see outside of your frame. Although you have to keep in mind that those frame, uh, especially frame lines are actually suggestions. They are not exactly accurate, just like a single lens reflex because you're not looking through the lens. So you just have to have some experience with it to figure out exactly how it cropped. Um, and as you can see, because the frame line only covers about, for this example, it's about 75% of the frame. Um, so outside of that, it's actually not gonna be in your picture. But uh, the advantage of this is that, um, for example, you're setting uh, I'm taking this shot here with a bunch of trees. Um, I'm waiting for a bird to fly in. And um, if I'm using single lens reflex camera, I'm seeing only the center part, uh, which is within the frame line. I won't be able to know when the bird is uh, flying in. Uh, however, by using rangefinder, I can actually look at the sky and approximately where the bird is going to be fly across my frame. I can see flies in. So um, then I can just wait till the subject to be exact spot. So that was actually the uh, most useful thing for street photography. The single lens reflex is a totally different beast. Um, as you can see from the demonstration here, everything is gonna be out of focus until you uh, focus on your focus ring in the camera or on a lens and you'll become sharper and sharper until it's fully focused. Um, so it just feels like you're actually viewing the world through a telescope. Um, There's good and bad. Um, the bad is that compared to the rangefinder, you won't be able to see anything else of this frame. Um, but the good thing about it is that you're tightly uh, cropped into um, the viewfinder. So most of the viewfinders are about, about 95 to 100% of the viewing. That means um, the viewfinder will provide pretty much our accuracy to 100% of exactly what you see. And so when you press the shutter, taking the shot, the shot will be identical to what you saw earlier in the viewfinder. And because of this, so um, Single lens reflex is definitely useful for telephotos, uh, such as uh, wildlife or uh, sports, let's say landscape or portraits. Um, also, uh, because you're allowed to see through the lens, uh, you're able to actually take macro shots, something that's up to uh, up close, and then uh, you won't be missing the shot or the composition won't be off, uh, the cropping won't be off because it's not a, a estimate. Single lens reflex, it's exact. What you see is what you get. So there's good and bad. Um, 
For me, personally, I like single-lens reflex for street shooting with definitely using um, telephoto lenses. Uh, but by the nature of uh, using the long telephoto is that you're not going to um, get too much seen. Your subject is in the properly in the center because you are focusing on storytelling. Um, okay. Uh, that's a wrap it up here. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoying this video. Um, the coming video, I'm going to show you the actual practice of how to use these two types of camera on the street. Okay, um, if you like this video, please subscribe um, or just click like or recall. Um, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.